Over 250 young women from the DSBN have come to Niagara Falls to explore careers in the technology and skilled trades. Students will have the chance to not only meet, but learn from highly accomplished female mentors at tonight's Live Your Passion seminar. We are celebrating uh, girls in the trades. We have uh, 30 mentors from you know, many sectors in the skilled trades and technologies here providing you know, um, talks to our students about their journey through their careers um, and also they're providing experiential learning activities so giving them the real hands-on skills of what they need to be in these trades. Can you tell me about the keynote speakers? Fantastic. Emily uh, Chung from Auto Niche and Jamie McMillan, uh, an iron worker, uh, both uh, giving very inspirational messages for our students. Uh, they've gone through the skilled trades themselves, uh, providing great messages uh, and really important for our students to hear those inspirational talks. The theme of this year's event is live your passion. What advice would you give to these young women to live their passion? I mean, I think that there's a lot of talk and pressure about passion. I think a lot of these girls feel like, okay, i got to find it out now. And what I would encourage them to do is, you know, finding your passion really is about trying things. And, you know, a lot of times they think, okay, it might look like this, it might look like that. But really, it's about taking one step forward and just trying it out. And if that doesn't work out, we take another step and we take a different step or we keep going around that path. And I really encourage the girls, especially with those who want to pursue skill trades, that, you know, skill trades is a, it's an occupation that you really have to try it out with your hands and find out if you actually do like it or not. What are you looking forward to most here tonight? Tonight, I, I mean, I love the energy. I think the girls are really excited about even just finding out about different trades. It's a great event because there's different representations of trades here. So the girls get a little bit of, you know, a taste of different variety. And it's also really nice that the parents are here too, so that we can speak to them as well. Now, Jamie, let's talk about this display back here. This is the Kick-Ass Photo Booth. It is the green screen. We have this amazing uh, Photo Booth app, and what the students do is they dress up like construction workers, and we have this um, iron worker beam stretched out across the floor, and we can put whatever background that we want in it, and the kids get to get up and kind of imitate the Rockefeller famous iron worker picture where they're dressed up as construction workers high above a city, but we turn it into a gift to make it all kinds of fun, and it is such a big engagement piece because it gives me time to dress them up as construction workers, talk to them about construction trades, and give them something tangible to keep after because they get to keep the uh, photo or gift and send it to themselves and share it on social media and have it for a keepsake. So it's amazing. You have endless opportunities in construction sectors and these are jobs that anybody and everybody can do if they have the passion and drive to succeed. So it's a great opportunity for women. It's an independent lifestyle. You make a lot of money and it's just, it's, it's so empowering to be a woman in skilled trades. What career paths are you hoping to pursue and why? Uh, personally, I would love anything in broadcasting or television or even film itself. I find it absolutely amazing and I really see myself in it one day. So why was it important for you to be here tonight? I feel like I could learn from a lot of people as a lot of like younger people could learn from me as well. Um, it's really inspiring to see so many people here doing what they love and being so good at it and so amazing at it. It really shows that I can pursue my own passion and do amazing at it as well. We have in our SHSM programs over close to 1200 students and 300 of those are female at this point um, and we are working on expanding those numbers. OEAP program we are approximately 150 students involved in the OEAP program. Young women interested in pursuing careers in the technology and skill trades are encouraged to get involved in the SHSM programs at their high schools. In Niagara Falls, I'm Norjean Howard reporting for The Source.